Adobo chicken, guys. <laughs> I hope it tastes good as it looks. It looks really good. Okay, okay, so just hold it like and that. It smells really good too. Buongiorno a tutti. How is it going, guys? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Hamid, and this is Kate. Hi, everyone. I hope you're having a lovely weekend. So, guys, today is a little different. It's Saturday afternoon in Bologna right now, and uh, we're not going anywhere this weekend. We're just gonna stay home. And we just came back from our walk from the Portici. It's lunchtime right now. So today we're gonna be cooking one of my favorite Filipino dish. It's called adobo chicken. Now I know Kate has cooked this many times for me, so I'm gonna give it a try. And I'm very excited, guys, because this is his first time cooking, and I can't wait to try his version of chicken adobo. So guys, I've got all the ingredients uh, ready. So we've got. Uh, so I've got almost one cup of uh, soy sauce and then I've got uh, half a cup of vinegar and some garlics, lots of garlics and one onion and then some spring onion just to garnish my adobo after and then I've got for spices, it's very very basic, I've got the bay leaves um, I've got a tablespoon of uh, sugar and I've got some peppercorns and a little bit of maybe one teaspoon of uh, salt and I've got my chicken ready as well and the chicken um, I left the skin on because uh, that's how adobo chicken is cooked with, uh, with the skin so uh, you know, for sure it's uh, gonna be very very flavorful with the skin on Okay, so guys, I'm done chopping my garlic and uh, just uh, maybe four or five cloves of garlic. Alright guys, so I'm done chopping my onions and garlic and I'm going to marinate my chicken. Okay, so I know um, a lot of people have watched uh, making adobo chicken. Um, they usually don't marinate before, but uh, what about people marinate because it's gonna give us more flavor for sure and it's gonna make the chicken tender as well. Okay, so I'm gonna put my uh, soy sauce uh, on the chicken. Okay. okay, that should be enough. I'm gonna leave this for later when we actually cook and I'm gonna put my uh, vinegar. Perfect. And a uh, little bit of garlic as well. Okay, I'll leave the rest of the garlic uh, for cooking. Okay, and then I'm just gonna properly make sure all the chickens are coated with the marination, with the soy sauce and the vinegar. Okay, I'm not gonna put salt uh, right now because soy sauce already has a lot of salt in there. So um, I'll uh, keep the salt for later and also the peppercorn as well. So if you want you can put the peppercorn right now with the marination but I'll leave it for uh, while cooking. I'm gonna make sure they're all fully coated. Um, and the best thing to do is uh, once you marinate, you leave the marination for at least uh, 20 to 30 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna leave this for 30 minutes, cover this. And uh, after 30 minutes, we're gonna start cooking. Sounds good? All right guys, so it's been uh, half an hour that we've been marinating our chickens. So I actually put it in the fridge. So I'm gonna take it out right now. And let's see how the marination looks like. So let's take this out. Okay, perfect. So our marination looks good. And so I'm gonna sear the chicken so it gets a little color on the chicken. Okay, so let's start searing. So I've got a big pot here that I'm going to use for uh, cooking the chicken or searing the chicken first. And uh, so I'm going to put uh, maybe two tablespoons of oil. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, let's see. Just let it heat up a little bit. So I'm going to try to remove most of the garlic from here and just sear it a little bit. I'm 
batches because uh, my pot's not big enough. So I put the chicken one at a time uh, skin first. So I want to make sure the skin gets uh, uh, the beautiful golden color. lower my heat a little bit. I'm gonna put uh, my onions and my garlic as well. Oh, it smells so good right now. Does it smell good? Yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna try to scrape as much as possible the bottom of the pan so that uh, I can extract all the flavors from the chicken. So my onions are looking good, caramelizing perfectly with the garlic. So I'm going to put my bay leaves and my peppercorn. out of uh, the bay leaves. Okay, so at this point, I'm just gonna re-add my chicken. Let's put all the chicken together. These are some big chicken. We couldn't get any smaller chicken than this in our market. In, uh, in Bologna. So, but I think normally adobo is cooked with a smaller, smaller piece of chicken. Let's make sure they have more, not chicken breast. Adobo is always cooked with uh, morning chicken. So I'm just gonna mix all this together. Okay, I'm gonna add the uh, my marination that I made earlier. I'm just gonna put all the marination in there. Let it come to simmer. Okay, I'm gonna add one cup of water. Just put some water. cover my chicken so that uh, it can get cooked properly. And just uh, it looks good. It does it look good? Yeah. Good. Well, I hope it tastes good. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna taste good. Okay, so don't worry. <laughs> But I want you to tell me honestly how it tastes, okay? okay. Don't be biased. Okay. okay. So I just put it in high heat right now. So I'm gonna let it uh, simmer for a little bit um, without the cover so that I can um, take out the acidity of the vinegar from the curry. All right guys, the chicken looks pretty good. So I'm gonna put um, just a tablespoon, uh, less than a tablespoon of sugar. Uh, so just to balance out the sourness of the vinegar. Now I've seen people use brown sugar, uh, but I think uh, white sugar is fine. Okay, and I'm gonna lower the heat. Okay, and then I will cover it. 
So guys, I'm gonna let it cook for around 30 minutes or so, uh, so that the chicken gets cooked properly. I've covered it and put it in um, medium meat heat just to uh, keep it uh, simmering. And uh, once uh, after 30 minutes, we'll check how the sauce tastes like. If it needs more salt. Uh, or if it needs uh, anything else, maybe a little bit more sugar if it's too sour. Uh, but we will uh, we will check in 30 minutes or so, okay? All right, guys. So while we wait, I'm gonna have some wine, sparkling wine. I'm gonna fill the wine. I'm gonna finish the whole bottle. Yes. Cheers, guys. Hopefully, our adobo is gonna taste really good. Okay guys, so it's been 30 minutes. It's a little bit over 30 minutes that I've been cooking with my chicken. Uh, I think it's done, so let's give it a try. Ooh, looks really good. Okay, it looks pretty good, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna try uh, the sauce to see how the sauce tastes like. good. It's, it's, it has like perfect balance of tanginess, uh, a little salty, and a little sweetness to it. So it's like a perfect combination. So I think this is done. So I don't need to put any more salt. So I think the soy sauce did the trick. I'm just gonna put my flame a little bit high and uh, just to make my sauce uh, thicker. Okay, so I'm just gonna cook it out. It's really good. Okay, I, I think I'm gonna like it. it smells so good. Here, let and me show, it looks let so me show the viewers. Okay, how does it smell? Mmm, it smells so good. It smells and good, it looks right? really good. I haven't tried it yet, it so looks pretty I'm good. very does, excited. Does it, does it look like adobo? <laughs> it looks like adobo, authentic. Authentic adobo? <laughs> I think you cook better than me, <laughs> but we'll see. Good. Okay, so I think I can turn off the stove. plate it. So we don't have any serving plates, so I'm going to just serve it uh, on this plate right here. Okay, so let's see how it looks pretty good. Just... Wow, the chicken are so tender. Just garnish with some spring onions. This is optional. There you go. It's done! Wow! Look at this, my first adobo chicken, guys. <laughs> I hope it tastes good as it looks. It looks really good. So I've got the plate of rice and adobo chicken is mainly, or any adobo dish, it's like adobo chicken, is mainly uh, eaten with rice, so white rice. So we have white rice, we made white rice earlier. So I'm just gonna serve some adobo chicken for Kate. And I want her to tell me exactly how it tastes. I'm gonna take over the camera right now. Okay, so I'm gonna ask Kate uh, to tell me exactly how it tastes. This is my first time making this adobo chicken. And uh, she's gonna be, uh, she won't be biased at all, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll so make you sure exactly you tell me honestly how it tastes like, yeah. okay? So tell me how this version is. I mean, this is probably not the most authentic version, but I try my best, okay? So tell me how it is. So first of all, it looks really good and smells really good too. So. 
Okay. So I just with the chicken first and uh, with the small rice. Yeah, but you gotta try with the rice. How is mm. it? Is it good? Really good. Really good? Is it as good as yours? Mm. It looks better, I think, than yours. It looks better than mine. <laughs> It tastes really good, but it's a little bit salty. I know it's salty, okay. but it's it's good. So maybe if you put rice. Okay, so maybe next time I gotta put less soy sauce. Yeah, yeah. maybe less soy sauce. Yeah. But with rice, it's perfect. Okay. So uh, just trying it with uh, just the chicken. Let me try it. Again. Try it again. Did you try mm -hmm. with the rice? Mm -hmm. Really good. Okay. Yeah, it has uh, the saltiness Salty, and, the, um, and vinegar, little sour sweet. yeah and a little sweet yeah but it's good and it's dry good i'm glad you liked it <laughs> good so, yes. so next time we're gonna make a bengali dish for me mm -hmm. yeah promise promise okay good <laughs> so guys hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video of uh, me cooking and uh, I don't normally cook uh, at home. Usually Kate does all the cooking and I just come home from work and my dinner is always ready. So I decided to uh, do something special, a uh, little different today. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, uh, what do you say Kate? <laughs> Give it a thumbs up okay. and subscribe if you haven't already. Exactly. All right guys, so we'll see you guys in our next video. Ciao. Ciao.